Hey y'all and welcome to this training. I'm so excited that you guys are here. In today's video, we're going to talk about knowing your ideal client. So make sure that you guys are paying attention and that you're taking notes. And just so you know, there's also a resource that you guys can download um, and kind of work along with me through these trainings. Just make sure when you download it and as you're typing in your information that you go ahead and save as that document so that it saves everything that you're putting into the workbook. Okay. So with, with all of that being said, let's just go ahead and get right to it. Something that a lot of new business owners face is trying to figure out who their ideal client is and even why that even matters. Okay. So a lot of times we start with social media, right? You'll find yourself posting reels and different things like that on social media, but nothing's really resonating with your audience. You're not really getting clients. You're not getting sales, whatever the case may be. And most of the time it's, it's almost like you're um, throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping that something sticks. And that's just not what you want to do. So moving forward, let's make sure that you're clear and focused on how to find your ideal client. So first let's talk about why it even matters. Why is it important to find your ideal client, right? Okay. So the first thing is you need to be speaking directly to an individual. So I said this all the time, guys, even on my YouTube channel, if you speak to everyone, you speak to no one. Okay. And I think that might be quoted by somebody. I'm not sure, but it's definitely true. If I am trying to appeal um, to a wide range of people, I don't have a message that resonates with them on an individual level, on a personal level. So a lot of times you, in your mind as a business owner, you may think, oh, okay, well, when I'm building my marketing campaigns, I am trying to appeal to a wide range of people. So when I speak, I say um, things that, that are in plural text instead of really singling out my ideal client. Whenever you guys are marketing and you're creating your copy, um, whether that be on social media, your website, your emails, you want to position yourself to talk to the individual. Yes, you want to work with with uh, you know a lot of people, but whenever you're writing your copy, you want to make it seem like you're just talking to one person. So when I read it, I feel like you're talking to me. I hope that makes sense. Something that you don't kind of think about, especially being a new business owner, is that you need to know your ideal client first. It's almost like uh, making a business plan. You know, some people try to skip over that because you know they're they're ready to get to the business, they're ready to start making sales and creating their offers. But you need to stop for a second and create your complete ideal client avatar because that's going to affect everything that you do moving forward, and especially when it comes to marketing, right? And just and I'm going to kind of show you what I mean by that as we continue to go through these trainings. But just to give you an example, in order to speak to someone directly, you need to know what age group I'm in. You need to know what's my generation, right? Because you need to know what kind of music resonates with me. Um, what kind of what kind what types of clothing resonates with me? What are my values um, based off the generation that I grew up in, right? Um, what type of profession do I have? That's going to let you know so much about me from how I think mentally to the time that I get up every morning to the time that I go to bed. There are so many details um, that you need to know in order to define your ideal client because that's how you're going to structure all your marketing. So once you get to know the person, right, because these are people that we're selling to, now I can kind of not, not really... I'm, I'm definitely persuading you in a way, but you're, you're kind, you're drawing on those um, triggers that they have. You are speaking directly um, to them. And so in order to do that, you first have to get to know me, right? Um, kind of like if you had a friend, right? And you, you wanted to plan a birthday party for them or whatever you want, you needed to first get to know that person. You needed to know the kind of things that they like. Um, you need to build that trust. It's the same in business when it comes to marketing. And I want to touch on some of the common mistakes that people run into whenever they're trying to craft their ideal client, their ideal client, right? And one of those things is that you guys are trying to speak to everybody at once, right? And so I know logically it makes sense, right? The more people that I include, the more um, earning potential I have, but that's just not true. That's just not what the market shows. That's not what the data shows. So what it's really telling us is that you need to have a niche, right? You need to have a target audience, um, a target demographic, all of those things. You need to be targeting a, a particular person and not just everyone who could 
potentially use your services, right? And at first, especially when you're a new business owner, that's a hard concept to grasp because you're thinking, okay, well, I, I really need to make some money. I really want to make some money. I don't want to exclude anybody who may need my service. But it, once you get into business and once you've done this for a while, you realize that that's just not how things work. In order for someone to make a purchase, in order for someone to uh, buy into whatever you're offering, they need to feel that you guys have some type of connection. So that connection is either they relate to you or you relate to them and you position yourself to understand their pain points, to understand their frustrations, to where they are particularly uh, particularly in the moment right now, what they're needing in that very moment that they're going to purchase your services. That's why you need to know um, your ideal client. And I'm just going to give you guys a really quick example. So if I was looking for someone to, um, let's say, build a website for me, right? And I am in um, doing Airbnbs or something, right? And I want my own website. I don't want to run off of the Airbnb platform. Okay, so if I'm looking for people and vendors who build websites and I, I see a whole list, right? So I see people who build all types of websites. You know, they have it on their website. They do wedding websites. They do, um, you know, entrepreneur, freelance, whatever, all these things. But then I come across a business that's that's marketing to me that they specialize Airbnb uh, set, web, website setups. If they focus solely on people who are doing um, short term rentals and that type of thing, nine times out of 10, I'm going to go with the person who is specializing in my particular niche. Right. Because you understand the um, type of booking calendar I might need on my website. You understand how important it is for me to obtain reviews. So you probably have already set up a system where my reviews can come in on an automatic basis and I'm not having to reach out to my um, clients on every time they check out to get a review. You understand that those kind of things need to be automated for me. You understand my position and the business that I'm in. And so we connect on that level. I'm nine times out of 10 going to go with you over somebody who builds um, just, you know, all types of websites and maybe they have more reviews um, than you and they've been in business longer than you, but you specialize in my industry and you also have good reviews. I'm going to go with you because now I feel connected to you, right? I feel like you are the expert in the industry that I'm looking for. Okay, now I want you guys to take some action. I want you to go to the Facebook group right now and I want you to comment, who do you think your ideal client is right now? I don't want you to go do any research. I don't want you to try to work through the um, workbook and answer this question. Just based off right now, before you've done any other research into your business, I want you to go to the group and let us know who do you think your ideal client is right now. And then I want us to comment on one another and see if we agree um, on what the person thinks that if that makes sense or if it fits the industry that they're in and what they're looking for. And this is not something that, you know, you guys got to put too much thought into into it. I just want to see where are you right now with your client avatar. And then later on through this training, when you post again, we're going to be able to compare the difference in what you thought in the beginning and then what you ended up with in the end. All right, y'all, that's all for this video. Make sure that you remember it is important to know who your ideal client is. And in the next video, we're going to talk about getting that information to better understand who your ideal client is.